guy's a monster. I think he's evil. My daughter's starting to become this stranger to my wife and I. She's 180 degrees from the person that she was. Before meeting DeAndre, Autumn was vibrant. Since meeting him, Autumn has withdrawn, dropped out of college. Autumn calls us frequently, and it's almost like something out of a scary movie. All you can hear on the phone is my daughter screaming hysterically, she's gonna kill me, he's holding me on the floor, and then the phone hangs up, and you have no idea where she's at. One time, she was crying because he stripped her of her clothes and called her a whore. I confronted him and told him that my daughter is not a whore. My daughter doesn't deserve to be degraded. He said, yes, ma'am, I love your daughter. I fear what DeAndre is going to do to her because this cycle of violence that they're trapped in, it's getting tighter and tighter. Autumn has promised me numerous times that she'll stay away from him, and I find out that she hasn't left. I'm afraid DeAndre will kill my daughter. He's hurting my baby, and I want her back. Um, you were wanting to say something during the tape? Oh yeah, that, that was the night that, uh, this is when you told me that, that's the night that she said that her dad was abusive. Mm -hmm. when, when we was in the same room, when she said your dad puts her hands on her. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can act like you don't know. We what know. What does that have to do with anything? I'm just saying. Okay, so you've said it, now what? Yeah. Okay, I, let's move I, on. All right, let's move on. Mm -hmm. what, what, so what's next? What do you want to say next? Oh, nothing. That's, I just wanted to point that out because she was acting like she didn't understand. You didn't like me standing up to you. I love that you stood up to me. I like that. I like that you're a strong, independent woman. I respect you. <clears throat> I don't respect you, sir. Mm -hmm. I would be very, very careful if I were you. <laughs> this is what I do. I, I read people, and yes, sir. I've been doing this for 45 years, and I would be very, very careful. Yes, sir. I don't respect racist people. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. You, you can throw the race card up on the table if you want, but I would be very, very careful about insulting the father of a girl that I had been physically and sexually yes, assaulting. Sir. Yes, sir. I would be very careful about that, whether he's black, red, blue, green, or whatever. I would be very, yes, very sir. careful about that. Just my advice. Did he, did he just raise the race card? He did. DeAndre? Yes, sir. I, I'm open to what I was hoping you would say something even more stupid than what you've already said. Could you, I didn't think it was possible, but I've been wrong before. What did you just say about race? I just hear, this is a hearsay. I'm not 100% sure if he's racist or not. I'm just hearsay oh, of what your daughter okay. tells me. Just like she said that you beat her. Okay. I'm just hearsay of what your daughter tells me. Right. When you're beating her and when she's trying to get out of the no, situation. No, sir. When, she, when, when, when she's scared when she's going to take she, her When life. she's at home starving and you're not helping her with anything. And she's, None of this she's is telling true. me. Let me, can I, when she's well, you're, me, you're, you're not accountable mind. to him for right. that, but go ahead with whatever else. I'd love to put your, put your mind at ease. Yes, you sir. seem like such a good young man. Um, so let's talk about race. It seems like your generation loves to throw out that. So you've been I've, given your I opportunity. Have, have let no me problem. have mine. I understand, sir, so, but I have no problem. I'm just going off of yeah, what your daughter I, tells me. So then let me help you clear it up, okay? All right, let me, let me listen. Yeah. All so, um, in the 20 years that I had the privilege of serving my country, uh, I led men of all color, women of all color. I understand that. I trained and fought beside them, and I was yes, willing sir. without hesitation yes, to give my life for them, yes, to protect the rights of the people sitting out here. And if you look, they're different colors. To protect people like you, who yes, even sir. though you're too foolish to understand it, still have privileges that the Constitution provides you. And there's men and women that are willing to fight for those. So the two best friends uh, that I had the privilege of knowing, uh, one was a black man. And my wife can tell you this. He and I were brothers. We were. And the day that I got the call from his wife that he had died in Afghanistan was probably one of the saddest days of my life. And I still weep when I think about his passing. You don't have the right to speak about race when you talk to me.